Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Casey. I am back again with another exciting video. Now in this video, uh, I'm going to talk about crossovers. I know that this is NBA Finals season and uh, I'm not really sure which team is going to bring it home and I'm not really sure what your favorite team is. Maybe you can leave a comment below. Uh, but I'm going to talk about crossovers, crossovers as it relates to playing the piano. All right. So what we're going to do is um, take a song and dissect it. And I'm just going to kind of just really just have fun with this. Um, this is not anything scripted. Uh, let's do the song At the Cross. All right. At the Cross, since we're talking about crossovers. All right. So I'll do At the Cross in the key of A flat. All right. And I'll just play the melody line just in case you've never heard this song before. So I'll keep it really basic and then we'll go into some crossovers. All right. So here we go. Okay, so that's a basic way to play the song. That's the melody line. Hopefully you could hear where it was going. Now we're going to cross it up a little bit. Okay, so basically I'm going to show you some crossovers that you can use. So basically you want to find empty spaces and cross over. All right, you can cross over into different modes or maybe even different keys. All right, so as you can see, I pivoted. I found a pivot. Uh, you know, in basketball, you find a foot and you kind of move with it. You can keep one grounded and you move. So I kind of swung or pivoted my foot or my phrasing into the next key. So I went up a half step. Um, so that's a nice little crossover you can do. Um, um, since we're in the key of A, let's just stay there. All right, so let's find some more places where we can pivot. All right. All right, that's a very basic pivot there. At the cross. Let's do another one. At the cross, at the cross. Or we can do it here. At the cross. All right. Or we can do this. At the cross, at the cross, where I first. All right. I'm giving you a whole bunch of different variations that you can do just on this one chord. Or we could do something. Let's say you're playing for a singer that can really, really sing. Let's say. Kimball Rail. <laughs> All right. Um, she would, would probably do something like this. At the cross, at the cross. All right. Keep that melody line at the top. Where I first saw the light and the burdens of my heart roll away. And she might do something like this. Roll away, is there my faith I receive? Now that's a traditional move. I receive. Now what we could do, we could cross over and out of that we could do something like this. Uh, was there by faith I, we could do this, I receive my sight. That was kind of nice. You can kind of be creative with this. I'm using infinite chords, by the way. Uh, and now I am happy all the day. All right, let's take this to the next level. At the cross, at the cross, <laughs> where I first. All right, let's do that again. At the cross. I first saw the light and the burden of roll away. I think we did this one earlier. Roll away. Boy, it was there by faith. I, instead of that, I receive. We can do this. Uh, I receive. Now I am happy all the 
All right, I'm just having fun here, but as you can see, I'm crossing over. I found different places um, where I could really pivot and move into different keys. Now, again, I know um, I made this video for uh, some of the advanced musicians. I wanted to kind of do something short and sweet uh, to celebrate the NBA Finals and talk about crossovers. Um, but if you want all of this stuff, I will take my time and break it down. It'll probably be about an hour long. All right, so if you don't uh, have an hour to watch the video, you probably don't want it, <laughs> want to download it, uh, but I'll take my time and break down every nuance explaining why I did what I did and how I crossed over into different modes and different keys. Uh, again, I just want to do something real quick. I love you guys so much. You know, I don't like to close any video out without telling you guys that today is a new day, a new life, and a new opportunity to become a better you. Uh, guys, become a better you. It doesn't matter if you play in one key or if you can play in two keys or you can play in all 12. If you're not changing lives in all 12 keys, it doesn't matter. Uh, I can find a musician who can play in one key and you know, he may transpose a lot, um, but at the end of the day, if, if lives are being changed, then he's doing his job. But again, our slogan is today is a new day, a new life, and a new opportunity to become a better you. So even if you're changing lives in that one key, you're transposing, learn another key, all right? So maybe in January, you learn one key, February. By the end of the year, by the time you get to December, you have learned every key, all 12, uh, which reminds me of the Transformula series. I give you different movements, some of which I use in this video, uh, that you can learn a different key every month. And by the end of the year, you will have absolutely transformed your playing. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next video.